everyone. In this video, we'll be solving a problem based on the concept of gravitational force. So here is the problem which is what happens to the force between two objects if the mass of one object is doubled, the second one is the distance between the objects is doubled and tripled and the third is the masses of the both objects are doubled. Now we need to find out what will happen to the attractive gravitational force between the two bodies if under these three conditions. So let us do that first. Let's have two bodies with masses m1 and m2 and their distance of separation be d. Now the gravitational force of attraction between m1 and m2 is given by the universal law of gravitation which is F equals G M1 M2 by D squared. Now, the first thing that we need to find out is the mass of the object. If the mass of the object is doubled, then what have, will happen to the force of gravitational attraction? Now, let's take the first mass to be doubled. So here we have the mass to be 2 M1 now. It was M1 before, now it is 2 M1 since we have to double one, uh, the mass of one of the bodies. The second body is of mass m2 and the distance between them remains the same that is d. Now in this case what will be the force of attraction let us, let us take it as f1. So f1 equals g into 2 m1 m2 by d squared. So here f1 equals 2 into g m1 m2 by d squared but we know that g m1 m2 by d squared is, is the value of f that, that, is, that that's what we have found out. So F1 will be equal to 2F. So the force of the force of attraction between the two bodies gets doubled when one of the masses is doubled. So thus the gravitational force doubles when one of the masses, the object's mass is doubled. And this is because the gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of the masses of the two bodies. Now the second one, the distance between the objects is doubled. Now here the distance between the two objects, we have doubled them. So the masses remain the same that is m1 and m2, but the distance between them becomes 2d. It was d before and now it is 2d since it is doubled. Now let's see what happens to the force when the distance is doubled. So the force f2 equals g m1 m2 divided by 2d whole squared. So here we get F2 equals G M1 M2 by 4D squared since 2D whole squared equals 4D squared. So here F2 equals 1 by 4F. So the force, the initially existing force has been reduced to one fourth of it when the distance is between the two objects is doubled. Thus the gravitational force becomes one fourth when the distance between the two objects is doubled. And this is because the gravitational force which exists between the two bodies is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Similarly, when the distance between the objects is tripled, that is it becomes 3D, then let's see what happens. So when it becomes tripled, then F3 equals G m1 m2 divided by 3d the whole squared. So this equals g m1 m2 divided by 9d squared and this equals f3 becomes 1 by 9 f. So here what happens is the gravitational force becomes 1 ninth when the distance between the two objects is tripled. It reduces to 1 ninth of its part. So but this is because of the gravitational force which is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two objects. And since the distance between the two objects in increased by a, is increased by a factor of 3, the force has reduced by a factor of 3 squared that is 9. So the third bit which is, which is to calculate the force when the masses of both the objects are doubled. So here we have masses 2m1 and 2m2, the distance between them being the same that is d. So here the force becomes f4 equals g into 2m1 into 2m2 divided by d which is 
एफ फोर इक्वल्स फोर जी इंटू एम वन एम टू डिवाइडेड बाई डी स्क्वायर सो दिस इक्वल्स फोर एफ सो हियर वॉट हैपन इज वेन द टू मासज वेर डबल्ड देन द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स बिटवीन दैम बिकम्स फोर टाइम्स एंड दिस हैपन्स बिकॉज the force the gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of the two masses and when these two masses are doubled or they are increased by a factor of 2 then the force increases by a factor of 4 so this is the solution of this problem and i hope the video was helpful to you thanks for watching tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning